Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello! And we're here to do a review and playthrough of the Bongo Congo board game. We sure are, so this is a motorised one, we've done a few of those recently. I'm a sucker for motorised and sort of electronic games. You do like them. Uh, so we have a gorilla in the centre here, we are going to be cheeky little monkeys and we're going to try and get some coconuts from the gorilla in the centre. Now I believe this was originally released like in the 60s or 70s by Ideal, then Parker Brothers, and I I think it's been re-released not too long ago by several other different companies so uh, you can still I think buy this brand new. Yes I believe so. I'm not, not sure exactly where but they do still make it in some manner. Um, it might not be as sizable. No. Though. This one's quite... This is a quite a large, quite a large one. Think, think of like the um, the 90s Hungry Hippo boxes and you got an idea. Mm, uh, okay. So yeah basically you load the gorilla up, he spins around, you gotta steal coconuts and not get thwomped. Essentially yeah he's got a big like blue club here. So you have to collect the most to win and that's pretty much it. Um, interesting thing though, it shows little red balls for the coconuts on the back, but they're actually yellow, yeah. or at least in this version that we have. So, so what I'll do is, this takes two C batteries, which is actually fairly uncommon, as you can see, just to test it. I was jimmying up some uh, don't, don't do that though, that's not a good idea, but, but we do have C batteries look now. Look what I've got. So let's crack those in now. Mm -hmm. Over, so you have to put it together. You've got the gorilla over your side. So let's just show the gorilla. Um, some of these stickers are starting to wear off due to the age. But you can see he was a fairly angry sort of chap. <laughs> angry chap, hey? Angry chap. He's got like a little mechanism here on his backpack. So you load his, um, backpack. his backpack up. Mm -hmm. And then when you, with your monkey, when you, uh, you, th you whack push him. push your button down here. It sort of hits this and makes a coconut fall down the bottom into your little slot. Mm -hmm. That's where you have to collect them. And pretty much, yeah, at the end of the game, whoever's got the most coconuts uh, wins. So you either play until all these coconuts are diminished or until all the players are being whacked by the gorilla and you pop off your little uh, log. Mm -hmm. So there are our little monkeys. These just attach on top of the trees here. They're spring loaded. There's like a little notch here. So if he hits you, it knocks something which then releases that. And you actually, you don't go flying like a long way, but you do like kind of pop off the tree. Uh, so you just push the button and that leans him forward. So obviously you have to watch out for your timing to try and hit the back there. So I'll be there and, and the bottom would come out and I wonder if we can drop a coconut. Let me just see oh, if we can Oh, bringing it. you down. <laughs> Alright, so we should actually get our coconuts as well. So our coconuts are just, over. they're actually smaller than like a marble. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to get replacement parts for it, it'll be a bit tricky. I would say so, yeah. So just load up right. his... Um, they're smaller too than, you know, say like a hungry hippo sized ball. Oh, and Nathan is pouring them all over the floor. Yeah. And you know, we're just retrieving the coconut. So if I hit this... One will pop out into here. And you've got to do a bit of force to get it too. Yeah, if you just sort of gently push it like this, it's not going to do anything. And obviously you want to watch out for the club. So are you going to play over here as the yellow button? Yep. Should yep. we just let it go and we'll see what happens when he knocks the monkeys off? Oh, whoops. I've just knocked it off myself. Oh, there we go. All right. There's ready, your slot in, by the ready way. Ready power on. Yep. So a little switch on the side. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. All right. Shall we... Shall so we have I, a go? Well, let's just play. Oh, there you go. So you only get hit. So when he hits your hand in a certain direction. And if you're leaning forward, of course, yeah, so as well. He can only hit you while you're attempting to get his coconuts. Yep. In other words, timing is everything. All right, now we're actually going to play, right? Oh, yes. There we go. All right. Ready? Ready? You've got the switch over your side. <laughs> let's go. Oh. oh, Nathan's out. <laughs> I got hit, but I wasn't even hit. I did it too hard. Shall we have another go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. We'll let that slide, hey? Oh, oh mine bounced out. <laughs> oh, that's another one that just bounced off onto the floor. They're all just bouncing out. Yeah, there's quite a few on the floor around us now. Oh no, I got, I bounced. All right, do we switch it off? 
So Nathan is out of the game. Um, I don't think we don't actually have the instructions. So I don't know whether you're still eligible to win if you have more coconuts by the end or whether that's just it. And I've won because I'm the last monkey standing. Yeah, I mean, we. I think someone we did... can maybe let us know. You could play either way, really. I think we did look for the instructions, but we couldn't find it or something. I can't remember, but can't remember it's been either. a while. Um, this, this is another one of those games. I think we said in the hungry, no, the hunting dogs um, game that we reviewed recently. You can kind of play whichever way you like. It's not a game where you're forced to play one way. You could do it by last monkey standing, most coconuts. You know, I so mean, on. theoretically, you could keep on playing, keep on hitting this until he runs out, or yeah. you get ejected as well. So. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun little game. Um, it reminds me of like Loop and Louie mm -hmm. in terms the of the timing. Yeah, the timing and all that. Yep. Um, it's neat. The bouncing out part is kind of frustrating. Though. Yeah, because I think <laughs> we've probably got about good four, five, or six balls on the ground now. And I'm looking around and some of them have gone quite a long way. So. Yes, because unfortunately, where we're filming is like a lino or something. So Hard floor, yeah. yeah they've, so. they've bounced all over the place. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments section down below if you've either played like the original, this release, or a new release, and are they different if you've maybe seen a few different ones? Or if you remember playing it all those years ago when it first came out. Maybe. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.